Hi, my name is Jesse Anderson, and I'd like to talk to you about my latest project. It's called A Million Amazonian Monkeys. And this project is taken from the age-old expression, if a million monkeys were sitting at a million typewriters with an infinite amount of time, would they be able to reproduce Shakespeare? So that's kind of what I'm trying to do. I'm creating Shakespeare using monkeys. But my monkeys have to be virtual. I don't have a million monkeys laying around, and I don't have a million typewriters. So I'm using technology. It's a technology called Hadoop, and that allows me to distribute and create a large amount of monkeys, large amount of virtual monkeys, to try and recreate Shakespeare. And that's what this project is doing. We're, we're recreating Shakespeare randomly, and not just a work of Shakespeare, I'm recreating every single work of Shakespeare at the same time. And to put this uh, amount of the amount of work into perspective, if you take the there are 5.5 trillion different permutations of nine characters. So that's what we're doing. We're creating nine character sets and seeing if part of that matches Shakespeare. And so far I've done about 500 billion as of the August 25th so that's it's a very insignificant number even though the project has been going for about a week or so and uh, as I mentioned where you can look at the website and if you aren't there now I suggest you pause the video and take a look because we're going uh, the website actually ties in with the and is updated by Hadoop, by the technology that I'm using. And it uploads two artifacts. It uploads a tabular output, which shows the exact number of, of characters that the monkeys have found, as well as the percent and what's left. And then the second artifact is an image output. And the images show green for characters that have been found by the monkeys, and white by what to show what's happened, hasn't happened, or hasn't been found. And so that's broken down from all works of Shakespeare and then individual works of Shakespeare. So you can check out your favorite play and see how much the monkeys have went through. As far as the technology uh, and an explanation of what's happening, um, as I mentioned, I don't have monkeys. I have to virtualize those monkeys. So each of those monkeys gets a creates a virtual output, a, a random output. You might think of it as random gi gibberish, and then that random gibberish is checked against what every work of Shakespeare. And if that piece of of Shakespeare is found, then it's actually output in the green, as I mentioned before. For a little explanation of the technology behind it, I was using I'm using a Sean Luke's Mersing Twister for the pseudo random number generator and as I mentioned before Hadoop but I was using I was originally using Amazon EC2 for this project but the problem was I didn't have enough RAM on the on the free instance of of the of the virtual machine so I had to start running it on my home machine so my home machine is running a single node of Hadoop and uploading the output and I hope that explains the project a little better and enjoy.